Hey guys, this is Steven, and today I'm going to be teaching you a handy little trick for shading in GIMP. So what I have here is a picture I drew from my audio visual class, and as you can see, it's kind of bland with just these flat colors. There's not really a whole lot going on in the picture. But if I enable this shading layer, it'll add a lot of depth to the picture. But as you can see, it's still not very visually interesting. So, if I enable this highlights layer, it'll add these lighter tones around the edges of the character and it makes the whole picture pop so much more and it really intensifies how round this character is and how cartoony the style is. So what I have here are three colored circles, one for each primary color, red, blue, and yellow. As you can see, these circles are on their own layer. And on these shading and highlights layers, I don't, I don't have anything. There's nothing drawn on them. First, you want to select your magic wand tool. This will let us select the color we want to paint on top of. Then, click the base color you want to shade. Once your shading color is selected, click this little drop-down box above your layers, and as you can see, there's a plethora of options. Ignore most of these for now and just select Multiply. This will make it so the color values of your shading layer are multiplied by the values from your base color layer. Now we can start painting. As you can see, when I paint pink on the Multiply layer over top of the red from the base color layer, it creates this darker shade of red. So that's the red circle. I'll be back after I've shaded the other two. Now I have every circle shaded, and if I turn off my shading layer, the shadows disappear. First, you want to select your base colors layer and use the color picker tool to pick your base color. Next, go to the color menu and make that base color just slightly lighter. Like just a little bit lighter. Then, select your highlights layer and start painting in your highlights where the light hits the ball. And now I'm going to show you a really good trick to add some pop to your pictures. First, you want to select your base color and go to your highlights layer again, and just paint in very thinly around the edges where the light might wrap around the ball and penetrate the shadows. This is called rim lighting, and it's a really handy trick that I picked up. Alright, that's one ball finished. I'll be back when the rest are done. Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, these three circles are looking really nice with the highlights. To show you the difference, I'll disable my shading and highlights layers. See, this is really boring and flat, because there's no lighting, it's just flat color. And with my shading layer on, it looks better and rounder, but still kind of bland. But, with my highlights and my shading layers on, the circles look really good and round. The rim lighting and these little round highlights add a lot of pop and shine to the circles. So that's a real quick and easy way to shade with GIMP. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you learned something. See ya.